Thank you for choosing iSpring Water Systems, the number one choice in water filtration. Today's video, we're going to look at the RCC7, the standard five-stage reverse osmosis system, and all of the optional add-ons that can make this system perfect for nearly any installation or water quality concern. And the first add-on we're going to look at is the alkaline filter. It breaks down some red mineral stone and calcite back into the water. Its purpose is to balance the pH a little bit, improve the taste. The next filter does the exact opposite. This is the DI filter or the deionization filter. It uses a process called ion exchange to remove everything from the water. You'll get zero TDS with this filter. And the next filter we have here is the UV light or the ultraviolet disinfection filter. This is going to shine UV rays into the water to kill any remaining bacteria or microorganisms that may be present after reverse osmosis. And the last part we have is the booster pump. This is going to raise the overall efficiency of the system by increasing the water pressure to 80 on the incoming line. The first filter I want to talk about is the alkaline remineralizing filter. And this filter uses red mineral stone and calcite to serve two very specific purposes. What this filter is going to do is add some healthy minerals back into the water that were removed through reverse osmosis and it's going to help neutralize or balance the pH of it depending on your source water quality. Now how much it raises the pH will depend on where your pH was at entering the system. It's a case of product water is a reflection of source water. The next filter I want to talk about is the deionization filter or the DI filter for short and this filter uses ion exchange resins to do the exact opposite of the alkaline filter. This will remove all mineral ions from the water leaving you with zero TDS after reverse osmosis and this is typically used in laboratory environments anywhere ultra pure water would be required. It's also good for cleaning especially glassware and vehicles because it doesn't leave the mineral spots left over. It's also perfect for aquariums because it doesn't produce that algae. Then we have the UV filter. This is an ultraviolet light that's going to give you some additional protection against microorganisms. It's going to kill any bacteria or viruses that may be left over after you filter the water with reverse osmosis. It's ideal for people on well water or any other source of water that hasn't been treated prior. This fits onto any system as the last stage and it comes equipped with this flow sensor switch that turns the UV light on or off when you create a demand for water at the faucet. Finally, we have the booster pump. This raises the incoming water pressure to about 80 PSI, the optimum for reverse osmosis. So with this installed, you'll see higher rejection rates, higher recovery rates, and lower waste ratios. While it's always a good idea to have a booster pump included for this reason, the booster pump is only required when feed water pressure is below 45 PSI. As you can see here, the booster pump uses a different mounting bracket, so it can't be installed separately. For that reason, you'll want to make sure you know your incoming water pressure before you make a decision on a purchase. Thank you for watching. That covers all of the optional parts and filters that make up the different model numbers you'll see for our reverse osmosis systems. For help deciding which filter setup to use in your home, you can contact our product specialist at iSpring or leave comments in the section below. For tips, tricks on servicing and using reverse osmosis systems, make sure to check out our troubleshooting series. Thank you.